playing Skills told Hurricane Chris Label that, hey, I got a record that actually, you know, he'll be good on, you know what I'm saying? He should hop on this. So he had hopped on a remix they made. And they, uh, uh, now when they did the remix, they just made a version. It was them on there. And they tried to take me off of it. And I'm the one that blew the song up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm glad you said Holly Berry. Before you get off here, explain to me what the controversy was with Holly Berry. Man, you just I, brought I, it I, up. I'm gonna just short term it. I'm gonna put it in short because it, it's tell a, the I truth. I don't want to hear what you told them other niggas. Tell yeah, me the truth. Yeah, I, I mean, I, the short. This is boss was, talk. The short point, and, I, and I'm gonna speak on it now, just because Sexy Red just sampled his songs. She, she just what? Yesterday, she just put out something on her Instagram, and she knew she she said new music coming. She just sampled Holly Berry, the original. Let's go. Tell me, give me the breakdown. Yeah, yeah. I got I mean, a minute. Like, I got this, time. This is how it was, man. Shout out to Superstar. Superstars from Colleen. I, we was at PV. I was popping at PV, probably the hottest artist at PV. He had a lot of motion. He approached me to get on the song. We made the song at PV, and we and we blew it up at PV. And then I took it. Uh, he had it going to Colleen. I took it to Dallas. And blew it up. I was doing a lot of shows at the time because I had walked that walk. She can walk that walk, walk, walk that walk, walk, walk that walk, that walk, that walk. Walk that walk was not as big as it became. It was still in the early form, but I was doing a lot of shows, getting booked all over Texas. So I took it to Dallas, to Houston, and I was doing a lot of shows everywhere. We blew the song up. It got huge. It ended up hitting the radio. It ended up being the biggest song in Texas, Louisiana, Kansas, Oklahoma, this whole little region. Right? Why was that? Uh, Hurricane Chris team, his label was looking for him a new single. It was like it's time to put a new single. They went to Plan Skills to get a beat from him. Plan Skills had just did a situation with Superstar. You know what I'm saying? Plan Skills told Hurricane Chris label. That hey, I got a record that actually, you know, he'll be good on, you know what I'm saying? He should hop on this. So he had hopped on a remix they made. And they uh uh now when they did the remix, they just made a version, it was them on there, and they tried to take me off of it. And I'm the one that blew the song up. When that when the word got out, you had the definition DJs at the time. The definition DJs was who I funneled the song through to blow it up. They was a big part of this song blowing up. When they heard that it was a remix coming out without the row on it, they was like, "We not playing that. Fuck, it, we not wow. playing that song." It 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 didn't get played and it died down and it just completely disappeared. So, Hurricane Chris now, uh, but when that thing playing skills went to him was like. We should sell this song to Hurricane Chris. So they sold a song to Hurricane Chris. I didn't sign off on it. They ended up doing a deal. Um, and long story short, after that happened, uh, where I'm at, S Superstar did his own situation with playing skills, and I didn't sign the playing skills. Wow. I stayed my own artist. So they pulled me off the song, and then... They sold it to Hurricane Chris, and then they blew it up. Got he did it with his label. I still was on the paperwork, so I still got the publishing and still stayed a part of it. But I didn't fight it because I have a whole lot of other stuff going on. Now this wasn't necessarily Hurricane Chris doing this. It was just his camp and his team. It wasn't like. Hurricane Chris said, I want to do this. They was aware of a big song, and that's how that song ended up. The, the, the mainstream world know the version of Hurricane Chris, but it was already a mainstream hit in the southwest part of the country, southeast part of the country, and that's what happened with that record. Wow. But this was before, <laughs> right after that, in the midst of that happening, my other song was taken off, which was Walk That Walk. You know, it blew up. So I was doing that. This is pre ice cream paint job. This ain't even came out yet. So I, I had my own success, and I wanted to be my own. I didn't want to sign the playing skills. Shout out to them. They don't Shout out to playing skills. They didn't have nothing to do dope. with them. I just wanted to have my own situation and be my own artist. Didn't make sense for me to do the deal, and that's where it went left. 
and a lot of stuff happened like that. Now that's the short version. That's of the it. short version. Did you yeah. and Hurricane Chris ever speak or talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, so we, we beefed for a little minute. Oh, y'all beefed. We beefed. Like, it's old school now. <laughs> yeah, we we beefed because it was just misunderstandings on different sides. But we end up like seeing each other some years later in L.A. We squashed it. You know, he just recently did an interview somewhere. Uh, I forgot where it was, but he basically told the same story for the most part. Wow. Shouted me out. Shouted out Superstar. We got over that. But me, when I was beefing, it was before I was even having the success I was having. Once I started having my own success, I swept that on the... You know, road, it, yeah. it just... It requires too much energy to beef. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? I know you're so not even about that. It ain't even about that. It's just I literally hit. See, now if I didn't have other stuff going on, I probably would have <laughs> been in there and fought through it and got what I really supposed to get. Even though I got good on paperwork, it was a lot more I could have got out of that. But why put that energy when I really was popping? I really had stuff going on. I really had mixtapes popping. You were still I really making had great music. Going. Yeah. And this was, like I say, this was pre ice cream paint job. After that, I made a record bigger than that record. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. So it was, for me, it was just like, man, I'm really this. If if I did if I wasn't this and I needed this and it's the only thing I could do, then I'd sit there and fight it. But I was just like, it's going to work itself out and end up working itself out. And, man. You know, but I, I love the fact that you, you know what I mean? You was able to understand how to keep making big songs and good music. Mm -hmm. And really, like you said, you were so hungry at the time is the way I yeah, look at it. Yeah, facts. You wasn't I, even trying to hear yeah, none of that. No, I was in a space where I knew that like I was getting close to getting where I was trying to get to. And I had to put every ounce of energy and time into that. If I would have took that step the other way, I wouldn't be here talking on Boss Talk today. Cause yeah, yeah. It would have took me. It would. It would have shifted my whole trajectory mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a whole different path. So I, I knew that then. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.